everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here with my Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Here to do a review video on a leaked uh, Jelly Bean ROM. An official touch was Jelly Bean ROM. It is completely an alpha build. Uh, it's an early test build for Jelly Bean on your Epic 4G Touch. I believe it's called FJ10, which is the, the version it is. But uh, it's just kind of an indicator that Samsung is working on a Jelly Bean update for your Epic 4G Touch and kind of go, I, I do kind of want to go over it and show you guys some of the features of the update. It does, uh, 3G does not work. Other various things don't work as well. As I said, it's a completely alpha build, so I do not recommend installing it. I can post a link in the description of the video if you would like to, but again, I don't recommend installing it. If you do want to install it, you'll have to put the, what is it, CSC file in the CSC slot of Odin and then the other file in the PDA slot of Odin. But again, don't do that unless you know what you're doing. But here we go. So you do have an updated launcher. I do want to point out right away, it does remind me of the Galaxy S3 uh, with uh, Jelly Bean. So when we go to our app drawer, you'll see you got these nice animations going back and forth in between your app drawer. Uh, scrolling between home screens has that nice animation as well. As I said, uh, just like the Samsung Galaxy S3, you also have a slot for widgets. You can go into widgets and scroll through those. Unfortunately, uh, one of my most used widgets uh, on TouchWiz on the Galaxy S3 is the flashlight widget, and they didn't include that for some reason. I wish they would have included the flashlight widget, but it isn't there. Otherwise, you'll see in your app drawer you have WiMAX options, you have static IP, you have dev tools, IoT hidden menu, so a bunch of different things that are, just indicate that it's a completely a test build. I believe it's just an early port from a different device. Uh, you will see up at the top though some some different icons there. Let's see if that can focus. Uh, so a little bit different. You can turn that percentage on and off if you would like to in the under display settings. Uh, you can press and hold the home button still and you do have your recent running apps list. Overall though, it is very smooth. I am surprised at that. You do have your jelly bean animations when opening and closing applications. Uh, you have an updated dialer. The dialer is a little offset so it kind of gets cut off down at the bottom. Not too big of a deal. Uh, I don't even know if calls work or text messages work. I do not have my number on my Epic 4G Touch, but again, 3G does not work, so that's kind of a big issue. I am connected to Wi-Fi at the moment. You have an updated browser here, so if you wanted to load up, uh, let's say, kubiking77.com. Let's go ahead and say kubiking77.com. Go. Oh, no, it uh, did it twice. Whatever, it comes up in the search anyways. So load that up. And there we go. So that loaded up real nice and smooth. Um, you could definitely try this out if you'd like to, if you're only going to use Wi-Fi because, again, this uh, is super alpha. It's not going to have many things working. You're going to run into various bugs, but there's the browser. You can open up a new page. You can open up a new incognito page as well, so you have that option. We can go ahead and go into settings. And then you'll see just a different settings menu um, with different options, Wi-Fi, 4G, more being mobile data and such. Home screen mode, which you can change into preset modes for apps and widgets on your home screen. Sound display, storage, battery, application. You do have lock screen settings. I can't access the lock screen at all. It just doesn't work no matter if the screen times out or what. Uh, it just will not go to the lock screen. But when you go to the lock screen, you do have options to customize shortcuts. So there are shortcuts that come off the lock screen. There is apparently going to be a ripple effect that you can have on just like the Galaxy S3. So I'm thinking when they update the Epic 4G Touch to Jelly Bean, they're going to try and make it be just like the Galaxy S3, which is pretty cool. I think that's uh, an awesome thing just to make it very similar to that. We can go to About Device, and you'll see Android version 4.1.1. Quickly tap on it. Of course, you got that uh, little hidden Easter egg. Press and hold, and there's that. So uh, you are on 4.1.1. Uh, other things I did want to show, uh, it does have Google Now, so you can press the search uh, button and then you can go to that if I wanted to ask it something. What time did the Bears play tonight? The Bears are playing the Lions today at 8.30 p.m. There we go, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. I uh, get to see the Bears beat the Lions tonight, so I'm pretty excited for that. Otherwise, uh, that's just about everything I did want to show you. Uh, notification bar wise, you do have a little bit of a scrollable panels. It only has one extra one to scroll to from screen orientation, sync, GPS, Bluetooth, 4G, and Wi-Fi. Uh, a little bit of a different order with 4G being right next to Wi-Fi. You do have an option to change your brightness right there, which does come with the Galaxy S3, as I said. 
as well. Um, you have the nice time along with the date. I don't know why I did just turned off Wi-Fi. That was an accident. And with the settings button right there, you can pinch in, I believe, and show up all of your home screens. You can swipe over these dots. And as I said, uh, it is very quick, fairly quick. Um, with opening applications and doing different things, camera application is a little bit different. You have different various effects and such, black and white, but other than that, uh, same response with taking pictures. Focus, take the picture. I just took a couple pictures there. You can go ahead and preview them in the bottom left. Brings up your gallery and whatnot. So you do have those uh, motion enable thing options as well. Just about it though, as I said, press and hold the home screen, you got uh, options to swipe away our recent running apps list. You do have Google now that you can quickly go into. You have Task Manager and you can clear all, which is a huge thing. I love having that clear all option in the bottom of your recent running apps list so you don't have to manually swipe through all of them. Overall though, very fast. I'm very excited because uh, it just does mean that uh, Samsung is working on Jelly Bean for the Epic 4G Touch. You'll have to let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. I don't know why. I just pressed and held the home button and it powered off. So I guess there's no power menu yet. <laughs> so kind of keep that in mind. But there you have it. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or anything, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Let me know what you think as well. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.